even as upheavals. going the wrong way? Looks like the plan are heading further in. But there's no path for us to take. If we get stuck, that's what the vines are for. This is Crystal, too. Huh. I've seen crystals like this before. Right, sir? You remember, don't you? I remember I cried a crystal tear. Sarah, you know what it's like, don't you? Being turned into crystal. Yes, I know. It was the loneliest, scariest moment of my life. Sarah, I... <sighs> it's all right. You know, I think I dreamed the whole time. But they were good dreams. Dreams about turning back to normal. Being with my friends again. Kobo? I hope that's true. I hope Fang and Vanille are dreaming right now. I hope they're happy in there. There was a legend about how the daughters of the goddess saved Cocoon. <laughs> they would have been the first to tell you they weren't goddesses. Not the type.
mad at Snow about something? I just don't like his type. He goes around telling people he'll protect them and they don't have to worry. Who is he to act all in charge? the damage that the disaster will cause. The erosion is progressing rapidly. The pillar won't be able to hold much longer. Could that monster bring Cocoon down faster than the prophecy predicted? I wonder where this one goes. of Grand Pulse stretches a desolate grassland, a wild place where the rule of might prevails and the weak exist only to feed the strong. A tribe of tough, proud people live off these lands, hunting monsters for their sustenance. But now, the hunters are whispering of a fearsome newcomer to the prairie that threatens to upset the precarious balance of their lives. their prey. Wow. They seem desperate. Like, they gotta get this one or there'll be nothing else to eat. Really? I guess you have to be a hunter to tell. Let's introduce ourselves. Sure. those people. Maybe they can tell us what's going on. Good idea. And let's hurry before those chocobos decide they need to stretch their legs.
too easy. Welcome, you and you. You'll come and see me again, won't you? Listen, we could do with an extra arm. You help us? I'll give you this map. If you're here to hunt, find someplace else. You guys aren't exactly hauling it in. Prey getting scarce? Yes. Ever since that storm blew up, these lands were teeming with game before that. Friends went to investigate the storm, but they never came back. So, you want to know what brought on the storm? My friends are out there assessing the situation, but even if I knew, I wouldn't tell anyone that wasn't a hunter. But Noel's a hunter. Don't look so surprised. She's right, you know. Really? <laughs> then you wouldn't mind if I put you to the test. Let's see what you can do. We've been getting harassed by a pack of monsters lately. Think you can get rid of them for us? We're counting on you. No one knows why they appeared all of a sudden. What are they after? Right. Let's go exterminate some pests. We should search somewhere in this area, I guess. Okay. Hit your boy. <laughs> 
something on your mind? Yo! Setting up camp when I heard a deafening sound. A twister appeared in the middle of the plains and carried all the monsters away. So, you took care of those little monsters. I have to hand it to you. You're stronger than you look. Thanks for dealing with that little problem. Say, can I ask you another favor? Some of my people are in desperate need of wool. Why don't you go and talk to the folk over there? They'll fill you in. I heard you took care of our monster infestation problem. I'm impressed. Now that you've proven yourselves, I have another favor to ask of you. I need help collecting wool from the sheep wandering the plains. I appreciate whatever you can do to help. You'll come across some sheep bigger than the others. They're the ones you want. They have the best wool. on your mind? Thank you so much. 
The quality of this wool is amazing. Here is a little something for your trouble. Only the best hunters can run around these plains without a care in the world. Maybe, just maybe, you two can save us from the peril hanging over our heads. I hear you're looking into what's causing the storm. I don't know much, but I'll tell you what little I know. The storm only comes when it's really hot and sunny outside. What should we do then? Wait for the weather to change? There has to be something we can do. There's a weather controlling device nearby. There is a direct correlation between weather and monsters. I can teach you how to use the weather control device if you'd like. Come, I'll teach you how to operate the machine. Use the lever to shift the direction of the wind. That's the first step in changing the weather. The weather will change depending on which levers you use. There are four possible combinations and four possible weather conditions. There is a correlation between monsters and the weather. For example, if you make it rain, the monsters near watering holes will become more vicious. And rare monsters with extraordinary strength may appear. By controlling the weather, you can control what kind of monsters you'll run into. That's about it. If you forget how to work it, come talk to me again. Thanks. <laughs> We've learned what's behind that storm. There's a monster prowling the grasslands that's taking all the flan. The beast is massive. It can swallow dozens of flan. And when it does, it kicks up that storm we've been seeing. A beast that can swallow dozens of flan in one go? No, are you thinking what I'm thinking? my favorite bow that there's some connection to the giant flan back in sunlight. Maybe the flan that are being swallowed by the monster here are being sent through time to sunlight. It's a definite possibility. So we should go check it out, right? Look. There's no other explanation. They're being sucked into a time rift. And then they're reappearing back at sunlight. Right, if we can take down this beast, we can stop the giant flan from getting any bigger. might be a bit much for us to handle. If we could just get it to step out of the way, maybe we can try asking the hunters.
hunter's camp. How did we get back here? Wow. Back in a flash, huh? Bit unsettling, but I could get used to it. The storm carries away monsters on hot, muggy days with lots of sun. The monster with the shell on its back is called the Longweed. For some reason, it's afraid of lightning. A single flash in the sky, and it's off and running in the opposite direction. Need something? There's always a little wind on rainy days, but nothing like that storm. It seems the monster Feral is causing the storm. Defeating him will most likely... <sighs> If anyone can stop the storm, it's you two. Make sure you stay on your toes. I want to see you back here safe and sound. Meal time's over!
think this will fix the paradox? Yes. Now let's head back before Snow gets himself into more trouble. Why, are you worried about him? What? No. Just figured you'd be itching to see him again. <laughs> uh, if there's one thing I know about Snow, it's that he's as tough as a behemoth. I don't worry too much when he's off on his own. You know, I couldn't do what you two do. Staying apart and doing your own thing even though you love each other. <sighs> you never know when someone might disappear from your life. Take it from me, you have to make every moment count. No. But it's okay. I believe we can change our fate. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here. Gone off to fight on his own.
like I needed the cavalry after all. <laughs> Maybe going solo was a bad idea. You <sighs> knew you had no chance of winning. Why did you even try? <sighs> Fang and Vanille, I guess. <clears throat> I knew it was stupid. But the pillar is getting eaten away bit by bit. I can't just stand by and watch. Not when those two are in danger. You couldn't just sit still and wait for help, could you? T Typical. Hey, I do what I do, all right? You're the worst of them all! I hate your kind! You think you're everyone's protector, everyone's hero, but who do you save, really? You even realize how useless you are? Do you realize what you do to the people you're supposed to protect? Now you wait just a damn minute. You've been looking after Sarah. And back in your own time, you protected your village and your friends, am I wrong? Seems to me, you and I are pretty much the same. No. You... You don't get it. You don't know anything. You're wrong, we're not the same. I... couldn't protect anyone. No? You know what, forget it. Maybe you're right. But you've got to survive. Because if you don't, then neither will anyone you love. Listen, I'm sorry I charged in on my own. Snow, I guess what I'm saying is, you keep looking after Sarah for me, okay? Huh? Snow? What's happening? My time is up. Wait, but we resolved the paradox. Maybe that's the reason. The timeline is correcting itself. Things that don't belong in this era are disappearing. Snow is a contradiction. It comes from a past that no longer exists. No! <laughs> Stop it! I won't let you go! Sorry, Sarah. I can't be with you here. No, please don't leave me. I can't lose you over It'll and over. It'll be okay. Heroes never die. This is what it means to change time. Why did he have the brand? Who made snow on the sea? Why? He might not have been forced. Maybe it was something he asked for. Not in a million years! Who would be insane and stupid enough to do that? What if you needed to protect someone? And you could only do that with the power of the Lassie. Everyone knows what happens to Lassie. Succeed or fail, they're doomed. Snow only cares about the people he's trying to protect. Damn the consequences. Damn himself. If it means helping my friends, I'll gladly become a lassie. Sound like something he'd say? And you... You hate him for that. <sighs> yes, I hate him. I understand it. That's it. Huh? I've decided. Snow is always putting himself in danger, trying to save others. So, I'm going to save him. When I became a Lassie, he did everything he could to help me. Now it's my turn. I swear, I won't stop until I find him again. Okay. And I'll make sure you do. He asked me to look after you, remember? Papa? <sighs> when two people part and go their separate ways, their memories split as well. Some people wish they could go back and be together like before. Others look forward to the day they can meet again. Sarah, the future is yours. Follow your path. Don't stop now. Coon should hold now, for a while longer at least. The rest will have to leave to Hope and the other researchers.
might not be able to reach it. It's not a problem for our buddy Mog now, is it? Well, leave it to me, Kubo. Shall we? Let's. You... Will you allow this? It is not for me to decide. 